I decorated my house with RGB pixels this Christmas for the first time and I learned a lot in the process. In general, I love the results, but I discovered a serious flaw when I took them down and you need to know what you're getting yourself into before you decide to buy these. I have a total of 400 lights here, 200 C9 bulbs on the house, and another 200 bullet pixels on the tree and the wreath, all driven by a Digiuno controller running WLED. Generally, everything continued to work fine after I installed the lights on my house five weeks ago. I had no power issues, no signal issues, and no dead pixels. The red LED on one of the pixels was glitching at one point, but it seemed to be temporary. There's only one problem with these lights. Can you see it? Let me do this. Now, can you see it? There's water in them. And I don't know if it's leaking here or if the water is coming in through the back, but I gotta figure that out. <laughs> All right, well, that tells me that it's not necessarily here and sealing here is not gonna do any good. The water comes right down the wires and just trickles into the bulbs. That stinks. Look at how much water is in this one. Why isn't it coming out? Oh, that's gonna be a pain. I can't put them away with water in them. That's gonna suck. I have to take all these bulbs off and dry them out. Oh, and then I gotta put them back on next year. Oh. Anyway, I guess next year I'll have to find different gutter clips that, that hold them up somehow. I don't know if I'll like that look as much. They won't be as bright, obviously, because this way the bulbs are facing the street. But that's a uh, unfortunate limitation. At least they come down easy. Even the gutter clips come off so easy. This is, this is a pleasure. Now the water did not affect the bulbs physically. Everything seemed to work fine throughout the year. I didn't have any more dead bulbs. I did have a dead bulb right here in the beginning of the year. I cut it and uh, put in a waterproof connection and everything seems to be fine with that. I don't see any bad pixels on the wreath. These looked great. And people asked me a question. This is a three foot wreath and I put one string on there. So that's just 50 pixels, that's all. And I balanced them out nice and even. So it just looked really good. Now I also have this F amp that I put in line. This is a uh, booster that was needed to get the signal from the end of the string over to the wreath. And I put these in with waterproof connections. And uh, this was exposed in the weather in the gutter and it worked fine too. And on this Christmas tree here, which I would say is about eight feet tall, I put three strings, so that's 150 pixels. And that was the perfect amount too. It just looked really good for an outside tree. I don't know how it would look inside, but outside 150 worked great. And this is a signal booster from Dr. Z's. I put in a waterproof container and that seems to work fine too because you can see the ground lights are still working fine. My board is in here. Let's see how this did. And that looks dry as a bone. Working great the whole time. So I made really good choices with these products. Look at the amount of water in this one bulb. It's half full. This is a really a problem, but it's a good thing for me. And we did have a deep freeze. We went down to six degrees here and the wind chill was well below zero. So I'm sure these froze, but none of them cracked. So that's a really good thing. All right, I spoke too soon. This one is definitely cracked from the ice. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. In fact, that's how the water drained out of it, but I don't think I'll use this one again. All right, this one here, not only is it cracked, but I found it like this. <laughs> so it's actually, the pixel is coming out and you can see that's all it is. It's just a pixel in there. In fact, I can pull it out completely. See that? And it just fits right on and it snaps into place. Because that froze so bad, it probably pushed it out. And the back, I don't know where the back went. They could make them better and they could fill them with uh, some kind of epoxy or silicone or something, but they don't. So I'm just taking off the uh, the bulbs and 
I'm gonna put them in here. This is a plastic container, so the water's not gonna hurt this, and it's certainly not gonna hurt the, uh, the bulbs themselves. But uh, I don't want too much water in here because it'll just, it could cause mold or mildew or something, so. Now, the number one comment has been that these things were out of stock with the link that I gave, and they couldn't find them anywhere else other than AliExpress with very expensive shipping. Unfortunately, I couldn't do anything about that. If you want to get these for next year, the only thing I recommend is start earlier. Plan ahead. I bought these in September, so you want to get started early if you're going to do these next year. If you are a DIY video creator struggling to find an audience, join Handy Dad TV and get instant access to an established audience that will provide more views and income than you're getting on your own. Just go to handydad.tv join for more information.